Hey nerds, I'm Wildfire One, and I'm gonna be doing a trailer review on the Ghostbusters 2020 movie. I guess that's not what it's called. I guess it's gonna be Ghostbusters Three, something we've all been waiting for. And I'm hoping this is going to be the Ghostbusters we want, not the Ghostbusters we got a few years back. Sometimes shit happens. Someone has to deal with it. And who are you gonna call? Not them. Oh Lord, no. Never again. We do not need any more bridesmaids with proton packs. Let, we'll just get that behind us. You guys, anyone who's heard the podcast and seen and seen or even knows us in general, how we think, no, that movie sucked. Anyway, so the Ghostbuster 2020 movie. When I first heard about the actual uh, trailer, I thought it was bullshit. I thought it wasn't it wasn't legit because we over the years we've had so many fan made trailers that looked so good that you could go oh my god there's gonna be a movie coming out and then wah 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 you don't get it you know there's no movie so I, at first i was you know a little sad and and then after that you know after i heard that it's it's a legit thing i got really excited and i mean you have ghosts freaky ghosts we're gonna talk ghostbusters <laughs> I have a lot of theories of what's going to happen here, and I'm so excited. I talked with my buddy Sunray on the phone today, and him and I have been talking for years about how they can, you know, kind of bring the Ghostbusters forward, especially now that Harold Ramis is no longer in the picture, unfortunately. Uh, rest in PC gone, you know? I'm hoping it's the Ghostbusters we deserve. <laughs> All right, watching the trailer. Looks like there was a proton stream attempting to be fired off. In a, some sort of barn. Maybe an old house. We're zooming into it. That's kind of it, it's kind of cool. This is a little bit of a a very a very teasy trailer. And then, of course, you see the Ecto-1. Oh, man, it gives you so little, but there's so much you can you can go off with this. Uh, all right, on to my thoughts. So I know there's a handful of you out there probably going, Wild, how do you know that's the Ecto-1 and not the Ecto-1A from Ghostbusters 2? There's a significant difference in the license plates. Uh, first and foremost, they're different colors. And second of all, one says Ecto-1A, the other one just says Ecto-1. The color alone in the license plate in this trailer basically tells which Ecto this is. It's the very first Ecto. It has to be. That's my thought process behind that. Now, like a lot of other people, I think that they're maintaining a proton pack in this. I think you see the broken proton beam. And my basic thought is what they're doing is maintaining this proton pack. I mean, look, they got the original... Ecto-1. So they had to have either found or had or kept. Uh, one of the original Ghostbusters had to have taken care of that that containment unit. You know, someone had to have taken responsibility for that containment unit because we saw what happens when you turn it off. Um, so I'm thinking maybe Ray. Ray was also one of the brains behind everything. Uh, so maybe maybe that's what's going on. Maybe Ray is, is, is fixing up the equipment. Maybe something big is happening in the, in the Ghostbusters world to where they're, they're, they're needed to call to action again. Now I'm hearing rumors about kids being Ghostbusters, like, like 12 year olds and 13 year olds. I don't know about that. If that's the truth, I heard that today. If that's the truth, uh, you're fucking up again, guys. Stop that. What I would like to see is I would like to see maybe Dana Barrett's son, Oscar, take up the mantle, like they originally talked about. I would like to see maybe someone who found this stuff, you know, or, uh, be it a relation, someone who's related to Egon or, or, or Ray or any of the other Ghostbusters. And, and I'd like to see them take up the mantle and go on from there. And maybe, of course, you know, some, some cameos from the ones we know and love. That would be great. You know, honestly, just as a little wink to the audience and the family of, of, of Harold Ramis, you know, it'd be great if you could put him in as a ghost for, like, a plot twist. We've seen that ghosts can be good in, you know, past Ghostbusters, and, and especially the cart old cartoons. Slimer. 
you can make him, you know, come back for, you know, with a voice sound alike and and if you can if you can make a digital version of Tupac, you can do it for Harold Ramis. At least have him come back as like a, for a plot twist, like he explains, helps explains what's going on and what's what he knows and even if it's for 5 seconds, that would be great. It'd be a great wink to the audience. Be a great wink to the family, you know? That's what I would like to see. What we get, mm, we'll see. I'm hoping it's not what I'm hearing with pre-pubescent Ghostbusters. I really don't want to see that. I guess maybe if you write it correctly, it could be good, but I would like to see the grumpy old mentor, you know, one of the original Ghostbusters, get with whoever these new guys, new guys or girls are, or both. That'd be great. But I don't want to see someone struggling through puberty at the same time trying to be a Ghostbuster. That just doesn't seem something real. I, I know we're talking about Ghostbusters, but I don't think it's something realistic. Who, what parent in the right mind would go, okay, go ahead, go bust ghosts, go save the world. Those are my thoughts. This was my trailer reaction. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay nerdy, stay sexy, always.